Hi everyone. For today, uh, this is Ryan, right? Ryan here, and uh, for today's lesson, we're going to be talking about margin and leverage. So let's go straight to the lesson. All right. So margin and leverage. All right. So margin. Margin is the minimum amount of dollars, right, of money you must put into play to control a larger amount of the currency pair. Right, it's dependent on the allowable leverage, which varies from brokers to brokers. Right, so I'll talk about leverage uh, in, in one or two slides time. And then every time you enter a trade, a portion of your account equity is set aside and allocated as margin deposit. Right, so let's say you have $10,000 in your trading account. When you place a trade, right, let's say one standard lot, a portion of your account equity, right? Most of the time, it's a thousand dollars, right? A thousand dollars of out of that one thousand dollars out of your ten thousand dollar account balance will be set aside as margin deposit. So you cannot touch this one thousand dollars, right? You can't withdraw this money. You can't withdraw this one thousand dollars until your trade has closed, right? Or you exited this trade, then that one thousand dollar margin deposit will be released back to your account balance again all right uh, and finally the bigger the lot size the more the margin is required right so for example in most cases uh, one standard lot requires about one thousand dollar margin if you're trading five standard lots then you times five right five thousand dollars margin okay next what is leverage right leverage allows an individual to control larger trade size right so for example as a trader Right, I trade Forex on leverage, right? So this means that one dollar, right? One dollar of my deposit can control a larger amount, right? So depending on the leverage. So if my leverage is hundred is to one, one dollar can control a hundred dollars. And if I have a if I have a thousand dollars, I can trade a hundred thousand dollars, right? So that is basically what leverage is all about. So it's used by traders as a tool to magnify their returns, right? So a lot of traders use leverage because they want to make bigger money, right? With, with a small capital, they want to make a big, larger amount of profits quickly, right? But don't forget, you can also lose, right? Your losses are magnified as a result, right? So you can lose big as a result of leverage. Okay, so for example, if the allowed leverage is 100 is to 1, this means that it's a 1% margin, right? 1% margin, and you wanted to trade a position worth $100,000, so that's one standard lot, you would be required to deposit in a down payment or margin of 1%, which is equivalent to $1,000, right? So if your, if your broker or your trading account, your leverage is 100 is to 1, Right, this means that the, for every one standard lot, you need at least $1,000 in your trading account to be paid as a deposit, right? margin deposit. Uh, sorry, not paid. To be set aside as a margin deposit. Right? So if you only have $900, then you can't trade one standard lot. Right? The most you can trade is 9 mini lots or 0 0.9 standard lots. If you have $5,000 and you want to trade one standard lot, can you do that? Yes, you can, right? Because it's one thousand dollars to be set aside as a margin deposit. You still have another four thousand dollars in your account balance. All right. So in trading terms, right, leverage equals one hundred over margin percent. The ability to control large amount of currency. Right. So it ranges from ten is to one to eight hundred is to one. Right, so this means that for every one dollar you can trade up to eight hundred dollars. Right, so for every one thousand dollars you could trade up to eight hundred thousand dollars. That's crazy, right? The leverage is just too high, right? So typically, right, normally in most uh, for most traders, right, they normally trade with a leverage of fifty is to one to two hundred is to one. All right, fifty is to one to two hundred is to one. Right, for me personally, I still use hundred is to one. Right, I've been using hundred is to one for the past twelve years. So. Uh, to me, leverage is not so important, right? Because uh, we are keeping our risk small. So, but we'll cover that in a future lesson. All right. And don't forget, leverage is a double edged sword, right? What does that mean? Yes, you can win big, but you can also lose big. All right. So, be very careful when you're trading with leverage, right? A lot of people trade. Uh, a lot of people trade. Uh, 
on leverage, right? And then they trade very aggressively. This means that their lot size is too big, all right? So you don't want to be trading too big a lot size, otherwise your capital might not be sufficient. All right, so that concludes today's lesson on margin and leverage, all right? So for the next lesson, we'll be talking about market analysis. So I'll see you in the next video, all right? Bye-bye.